The National Park is a symbolic landscape which represents the last frontier, pristine wilderness and environmental preservation in action. It is an important place not only because its value as a unique natural setting, but also because of the therapeutic qualities people associate with it. In suggesting a new direction for medical geography, Glacier 1992. Glacier 1991. Glacier 1993. the National Park is a symbolic landscape which represents the last frontier of the Denali is a symbolic landscape which represents the last frontier of the Denali is a symbolic landscape The National Park is a symbolic landscape which represents the last frontier of pristine wilderness and environmental preservation in action. It is an important place not only because of its value as a unique natural setting, but also because of the therapeutic qualities people associate with it. In suggesting a new direction for medical geography, Glacier, 1992. Emphasizes the ten significance of places Happy which boost reputations for achieving enduring physical, Rip mental, and spiritual healing. Kearns notes that what occurs in a place in terms of the relations between people and elements of their landscape has a profound importance to health. Denali is a therapeutic landscape, although different from some social conceptions of therapeutic places such as spas, hospital societies, or religious shrines. Thrift 2000. Conrad Glacier 1991. Glacier 1993. Video Empire 2003. Milligan et al. 2004. Wiley 2005. Hoyes 2007. Leah 2008. Thrift 2008. Peck 2008. Simpson 2010. Anderson et al. 2010. Glacier 1991, Glacier 1993. Williams 1999. Video in part 2000. Glacier 1991, Glacier 1993. Mindfulness of breath, three minute breathing exercise. To prepare for this exercise, just take a few moments, whether you're sitting or standing, just to find a comfortable position. You may choose to close your eyes or keep them open. If you're feeling a bit tired, it may be useful to let just a little bit of light in to keep you alert. Begin by gently moving your attention onto the process of breathing, simply observing each breath as it happens, whether you focus on the rise and fall of your chest or abdomen, or perhaps the sensation of the breath as it moves in and out of the nostrils. Are the breaths deep or shallow, long or short? Really feel what it is like to breathe, without feeling the need to alter your breath just observing it as it happens. As you engage with this exercise, you may find that your mind wanders, caught by thoughts or by noises around the room or bodily sensations. When you notice that this happens, know that this is okay and that our mind often wanders. Simply notice what has caught your mind's attention, then gently bring your focus back to the breath. You may find as you watch your breath that it begins to change, or stays at a steady pace. Whatever your breath is doing, just watch it in this moment, and feel what it is like to be breathing.
Again, if your mind wanders, it may do so many times. As you notice that your focus has moved from breathing, you may wish to simply label the distraction as thinking, or as a feeling, or as sensations, or noise. And then just gently bring your attention back onto the process of breathing. As we move towards the end of this short exercise, I invite you to allow yourself to be really aware of your next few breaths, focusing on every sensation as the breath comes in and as it flows out. Take a few moments to yourself just to feel really connected with the present moment. Now as you feel comfortable to do so, you can expand your awareness from the breath into the rest of your body and the room around you, and when you feel ready to do so, you can open your eyes and bring the exercise to a close.